We'd like to welcome you to the CEDOR program, the Kabbalat CEDOR, on behalf of Mrs. Rego, Mrs. Shmi, and myself. We'd like to invite all the parents and grandparents and siblings, friends, whoever's here with our children. We have a very large group this year, 37 children. We're very happy to have such a large group and hope to continue in the future. The children have practiced quite a bit, and we think they did an excellent job the last rehearsal, and we hope you will enjoy the program as much as we enjoy doing it with them. I just would like to remember to thank you also for your CDOR covers, and um, we will have a reception later, which we'll be reminded about later. Thank you. And we can start. This year, we are learning many new Bracho and Tefillo. We are learning many of their prayers in the morning service. <coughs> the beginning of morning prayers is going with Maldini. We say Maldini when we're when we wake up in the morning while we're still in bed. In it, we give thanks to the living God, our King, for keeping us alive and for letting us enjoy good health as we greet each new day. When we come into the synagogue, Macho Bo is the first prayer we recite. In all prayers, we praise God, thank God, and petition God, asking for things we need. We just believe that Abraham offered the first shahari, morning prayers, when it says, And Abraham got up early in the morning to the place where he had stood before the Lord. We have a very long tradition to continue. Today we'll read chants of the prayers we know.
what we're doing. That's what we were doing. Especially because you get to decorate it, you get to read 
parents out of it, but especially you get to show it to the people who are watching. I am proud of receive, receiving my Sidor. My prayer will be for peace. Rule the town of Nile, King of Nelicolo, Spirit of the Town of Prince of Bob and Sivan, Al Shalom. God, you are the most mightiest thing in every galaxy, and only you can make a cure for AIDS, and only you can make the world a better place to live, and only you can make peace all over the world. Sidor, Sidor, I'm a shark. It's going to be like a little love. I want you so much to go to blessings and not do anything, just listen to me. When I get my Sidor, it will be very special. It will help me with my prayers and songs. The other reason is because it will be a privilege too. I will take it to Hebrew school and temple. I will read it on holidays. I'm so excited to go to Sidor. Thank you, God, for letting me live and be free. You can do anything like turning cotton into steel. We must all stop doing sins and be good. I'm very happy to get my, <laughs> very happy to get my old seed art because I can bring it to temple and other things. I, I want a seed art because then when learning there, I'll be able to learn it easier. I will also be able to practice before going to the temple. Why I don't want my Sidor is because I want to learn more about what happened a long time ago. What we do in a Sidor is we prayers and bracha. Why I don't want a Sidor is because I don't know how to read in Hebrew well. Dear O Lord, King of the Universe, thank you very much for my loud mouth sister. I love her even though she is a loud mouth. She loves me too. I love her. I like her cute smile. Thanks again for my baby sister and thank you for my wonderful family. Amy Keller Hayes.
didn't pack it in my cigar because I'm old, I feel I'm old enough to get one. And also, I have never had my own school. I think my family will be back. I also would like to see what kind of furs there are. I want to get to yours, so every night I'll sit and read it. I am very excited to get my cedar. I can find new prayers I never I never knew and famous people I never heard of in the prayers and new phrases. I think getting a cedar is fun because it's a privilege to get a cedar and it's fun to read Hebrew. A cedar is important to me because a Jew should learn the songs and the prayers that are important to learn. I want to get a Siddur because I think it's a good thing to go on to a new level of reading. I think it's a good thing because when we get our Siddur, we learn how to read prayers. I'm very excited to get my Siddur. I'm going to learn more prayers. I'm also, I also like to read Hebrew. The Siddur is important to Jewish people because Jewish people have to thank God for everything he had done for us. Cedar, Cedar, I adore Cedar. I love it in every way. I'll use it to pray every day when I get my Cedar. I'll take care of my Cedar too. My Cedar will be the best thing in the world. I will read it every day. I can bring it into Temple and my grandma's club. I can't wait. I know they've all worked hard. I would also like to thank your teachers who've worked very hard with you, Mrs. Schmier, Mrs. Regev, Mrs. Rose, and Sherry Levy, who have put in the past six weeks, I think it is. Hard work, and you've all done a wonderful job. And I've got to tell you, I'm sort of wondering here. This is the first time in ten years I've had a group this large. I hope my arm makes it throughout handing out all those cedarines. Now you've all worked very hard on the covers and I would like to thank the parents also. Applaud yourselves for your cedar covers. I'm going to call you up and give them to you. And you know, the purpose of the cover is to protect the cedar. And I'm going to show you a cedar here. This is the one that I use. It doesn't have a cover on it. How's the cover look? Oh, it's had it, huh? Can you see on the pages how they got brown sort of on the sides? They're like almost stained. Can you see that? Yeah. How do you think it got like that? No, it didn't spill coffee on it? <laughs> no, not in the morning. <laughs> not there, kind of zone, I turned to a shot three. From? Well, old, someone raise their hand. Who else thinks they know how the pages got kind of like that? Sarah? Good, a lot of use because this page is where I keep this thumb and this page, spot here where it's all worn, is where I would constantly turn the page when I was done. So how did my seat door get like this? From use. Now you're getting brand new, clean, nice seat doorine with covers on them. And those covers are beautiful and it's nice to keep the cover like that. But you know how I'd like your seat door to look in a year? And I don't mean from spilling soda on it or mustard or ketchup, but from use, I would love to see your Sidor look something like this. Even if some of the pages do fall out from time to time, because the best thing to do with a Sidor is to make it look used. It's not supposed to sit up there all brand new. Okay, so I'm going to call you up. Now we're calling you up by a special method. It's called the plop method. However, the books got plopped down on the desk as you brought them up. If you'll come over here when I call your name and I will give you your seat door, it will be my pleasure. Raphael Brenner.
Levinson.